I'm Anna and you're watching Food Love. Today I've got braised beef short ribs over creamy Parmesan polenta. This is so good. It's pretty easy too, but it is so, so, so good. And if you want to see how I make it, keep watching. So I've started with a few carrots that I have not peeled. I wash them, I cut them into matchsticks, and then I dice the matchsticks. So I'm doing the same thing with half of a red onion. If you only have yellow onion or regular white onion, that's fine, you can use that. The red onion was what I had and I actually liked the flavor in this recipe. I've also got one clove of garlic that I'm going to slice and then I'm going to mince that up pretty fine. Now once I've done prepping my veggies, I'm going to start seasoning my beef short ribs. Now here I have, I started with about three to four pounds of beef short ribs. I'm going to generously season them with some kosher salt and some black pepper. As you can see, these short ribs have fat on top, fat on bottom, and then there's some marbling of fat in the middle. Don't worry about this. This is going to cause your short ribs when they cook up to be so tender and so flavorful. So I have some flour here and I'm just taking my short ribs and I am dusting them and lightly flouring them on all sides in this flour. So I have a large roasting pan, very high sided roasting pan that converts from the stove to the oven and I've heated that on the stove top with some coconut oil and I have put the ribs into this pot and I'm going to brown the ribs on both sides. Now if you don't have a pot that will convert from the stove top to the oven, which a lot of them, most of them do nowadays, but if not, you can do your browning and all your prep and then transfer everything into an oven safe um, pan. So once I've got these browned on all sides, I'm gonna remove them from the roasting pan and I'm going to add my diced carrots and my diced onions and my garlic. I'm just gonna give that a stir. Now I'm going to add some flavor to this layer of the, the dish as well. So I have some dried thyme that I'm sprinkling in, um, some kosher salt and some black pepper. So I'm just gonna stir that. And then I'm going to add, just for another level of flavor, I'm going to add a bit of tomato paste. Now this is not to make the dish have a tomato flavor or a tomato-y base uh, flavor, and it won't. This is just really to give another, a little more depth of flavor to this dish. So I'm basically just sauteing this around until the tomato paste starts to break down like this. And now here I'm adding some red wine, about two cups of dry red wine. Make sure when you cook with your wine that it's a wine that you wouldn't mind pouring a glass of and drinking. So I'm also here adding two cups of beef stock or beef broth, whatever you have. And I'm just going to get this nice and stirred and when everything starts to simmer, comes to a little boil, I'm going to put the short ribs back into, the, into the, the roasting pan with all of this liquid. Now, the liquid doesn't have to cover the ribs, and I am nestling the ribs down into this liquid. This is going to bake at 350 50 degrees for one hour, and then for an hour and a half, it's going to bake slow and low at 325 degrees. So now I'm going to measure out my polenta. I'm measuring out one cup of dry polenta. Now the rule for polenta is four parts liquid to one part polenta. So here I have two cups of milk and two cups of water. I've added a little salt to season the liquid. And then I am, I am sprinkling in my dry polenta. And as you can see, I'm whisking the polenta into the liquid the entire time. Now this, the polenta tends to want to develop lumps, so you kind of have to keep whisking it. And then once you're sure that you've whisked all of the lumps out, just turn the heat down to medium, medium low, put a lid on it, and total time was about 20 minutes. Now here, our short ribs are done. So what I'm doing is I am skimming off some of the fat that rendered during the, the, uh, the baking or the cooking process. 
and now I'm checking my polenta and as you can see we're almost there but not quite and they uh, the polenta has developed a few lumps but that's okay I can beat those out with my wooden spoon and then here I'm just labeling some of those pan juices over the short ribs so back to the polenta now the polenta is just about done so now we just need to add some flavor so here I've added some cold butter and I'm just going to completely stir this in until it's all nice and melted now this butter is gonna is gonna add of course some silkiness and of course that delicious butter flavor a little saltiness and then here I have some grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese that's going to add some nuttiness it's go going to taste so good and then at the end I've added a little bit of heavy cream and of course this is going to add some creaminess and when I tell you that this polenta was so smooth and so silky oh, OMG it was just really really good so I did make sure that I stirred this quite a bit with my wooden spoon so now it's time to plate so here's that creamy delicious polenta and then here's our beef short rib I'm gonna put some of those pan drippings that gravy so good don't forget to subscribe guys you really should make this it was really pretty easy and so so good the ultimate comfort food until next time i'm wishing you joy and lots of food love